From White Columns, Television Center of the South, in Atlanta, capital of the South, comes Newsroom. First, the top stories from the nation and around the world with Ray Moore and Dick Horner. Brought to you by Eastern Airlines. Now, here's Ray Moore. Good evening. This is Action News with Monica Kaufman and Jim Wilkerson. Jim Biondi with sports and Johnny Beckman with the weather. Well, here in Atlanta, it's one of those nights that, from the inside looking out, can make you feel like late October. It's just two steps, two steps ahead. Action News with Wes Sargentson, Monica Kaufman, meteorologist Johnny Beckman, and John Buren with sports. For most of the past 24 hours, Atlanta has been a city on the edge of its seat. With John McKnight, Jill Becker, meteorologist Bob Richards, and Steve Buckhans with sports. Good evening. It will be from WSB TV, Atlantis News Channel. This is Action News with Monica Kaufman, Wes Sargentson, Bob McLean, sports, and Russ Minshew with the weather. Good evening. One of the things that Latin paper... From WSB-TV, Atlanta's Emmy Award-winning news channel, this is Action News with Terry Wood, Monica Kaufman, Bob McLean Sports, and Russ Minshew with the weather. Good evening. I'm Terry Wood. And I'm Monica Kaufman. From WSB-TV, Atlanta, Georgia's news leader, Monica Kaufman, Terry Wood, Russ Minshew with weather, and Chuck Dowdle on sports. This is Channel 2's Action News. Prom night at an Atlanta hotel turns into a nightmare for a teenage couple. George From WSB-TV, Georgia's news leader, Monica Kaufman, Don Farmer, Glenn Burns weather, and Chuck Dowdle on sports. This is Channel 2's Action News. Tonight, full PTL coverage. Reverend Jerry Falwell turns on the heat, and it's Jim Baker who gets burned. Also tonight, where is Jim Baker? We'll go live to his home in Palm Springs to find out if we can. And we'll hear from Baker's followers. How do they feel about today's PTL shakeup? And that's our top story tonight, a shakeup at PTL. From WSB-TV, Atlanta, Georgia's news leader. This is Channel 2's Action News with Monica Kaufman, Don Farmer, Glenn Burns Weather, Chuck Dowdle Sports, and the Action News Team. A judge orders doctors to give a three-day-old baby a blood transfusion despite the family's religious objection. Now from WSB-TV, Atlanta, Georgia's news leader, this is Channel 2's Action News with Monica Kaufman. Don Farmer, Glenn Burns Weather, Chuck Dowdle Sports, and the Action News Team. A local family sends out an urgent plea tonight for the safe return of this woman. She's been missing since last night. From WSB-TV Atlanta, tonight's Monica Kaufman, Don Farmer, Glenn Burns, Chuck Dowdle. This is Channel 2 Action News on the Night Beat. On the Action News Night Beat tonight, two inmates and a prison guard are injured in an uprising in Henry County. From Georgia's news leader, WSB-TV Atlanta. Coverage you can count on with Sandra Bookman, John Alton, David Chandley Weather, and Stu Clytenic Sports. This is Channel 2 Action News at 6. From WSB-TV Atlanta. Coverage you can count on with Don Farmer, Monica Kaufman, Burns, weather, 
and Chuck Dowdle Sports. This is the Channel 2 Action News Night Beat. Braves fans react tonight to an apology issued by suspended outfit. Now, coverage you can count on. Channel 2 Action News at 6. of July 4th, 1994, as thousands braved the rain to enjoy the Salute to America Parade downtown. The holiday is a quiet one at Area Lakes. The rain put a damper on the festivities for thousands of Georgians. But the holiday festivities are marred with tragedy in Douglasville. A 10-year-old girl dies after being run over by a train. A fatal train accident is our top story on Action News at 6. Good afternoon, I'm Monica Kaufman. And I'm John Pruitt. We now, coverage you can count on. Channel 2 Action News at 6. A gruesome discovery at Hartsfield Airport. The bodies of two Peachtree City women are found in a van. Now, now coverage you can count on. Channel 2 Action News, Night Beat. A lumpy manila envelope, contents unknown to the media. You can count on Channel 2 Action News Night Beat. 15 months before athletes go for the gold in Atlanta, it's time for Olympic fans to go for the order forms. Millions of Olympic ticket order forms will be available beginning at dawn tomorrow. And that's our top story on the Night Beat. Good evening, I'm Sandra Bookman. And I'm John Alston. Live, local, late breaking. Now, coverage you can count on. This is Channel 2 Action News at 6. Two late-breaking and developing stories tonight. Disturbing new information about a bizarre and shocking murder of an elderly man in Clayton County. But first, an apparent random act of violence leaves a businessman dead and police scratching their heads for a search for clues. Good evening, I'm Pam Martin. Monica is off tonight. And I'm John Pruitt. We've heard about this kind of brutal and apparent... Live, local, late breaking. This is the Channel 2 Action News Night Beat at 11. Coverage you can count on. Now, in high definition. Live, local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News at 6 p.m. Coverage you can count on. officers are swarming Metro streets as part of a crime sweep. They seized drugs, guns, and cash, plus made dozens of arrests. Live, local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News, Night Beat. Coverage you can count on. An SUV on its side after a crash that killed a local college student. Tonight, another student is facing charges for the wreck. Good evening, I'm John Bachman. And I'm Linda Stouffer. Local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News this morning. Coverage you can count on. Breaking news, the live look as officers investigate a double shooting at a club. One person is dead. Live, local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News, Saturday AM. Coverage you can count on. New from overnight, a shootout with police in a metro Atlanta neighborhood. The Today, a suspected serial rapist is off the streets of Metro Atlanta. We are learning how police say he preyed on women and why they think there may be more victims. Live, local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News at noon. Coverage you can count on. Right now, a community is remembering a local high school athlete killed during a preseason football game. Good afternoon, I'm Sophia Choi. Live, local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News at 4 p.m. Coverage you can count on. Good afternoon, I'm Aaron Coleman. And I'm John Bachman. What? Live, local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News at 5 p.m. Coverage you can count on. 
Good afternoon. I'm Justin Farmer. I'm Jovita Moore. This Live, local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News at 6 p.m. Coverage you can count on. Right now, federal investigators are trying to piece together what caused a commercial plane to try and abort its landing less than two seconds before it crashed. You can count on. We're on the scene of a developing story. Four people shot when gunmen stormed a home and recording studio. Good evening. I'm Monica Pearson. I'm Justin Farmer. And...